Today we are checking out the Rocktech G2 Android TV box. Yeah, Android boxes. These will be making a comeback if the Fire Sticks get their own operating system this year. Let's check it out. First up we have the G2 Android box itself. We will check it out properly in a moment. Underneath we have a power supply. We will of course include the correct plug adapter for your country. There's a HDMI cable to plug into your TV or monitor. Next we have a user guide which is in English and Chinese. And last but not least is a Bluetooth remote control. The Rocksack G2 measures around 4.3 by 4.3 by 0.78 inches and weighs only 142 grams. On the front is a power LED which lights up blue for on and red for standby. The right side has a micro SD card slot, a USB 2 and USB 3 port which you can use to connect peripherals to. The back from left to right has a power port, a gigabit ethernet, HDMI 2.1, AV and optical ports. There is also a USB type C port which you can use for charging devices. The Bluetooth remote control is fully featured and with the G2 being CEC compatible you can if you wish to use it to control your TV. You have the usual number keys and navigational controls, Google Voice and shortcuts to popular apps such as YouTube, Netflix and Prime Video. It is powered with two AAA batteries which are not included. The remote feels comfortable and intuitive to use without having to keep looking at it to remember where the buttons are. The Rocktech G2 features the ARM Cortex A55 S905X4K processor and ARM G31 MP2 GPU. There's 4 gigs of LPDDR4 RAM and 32 gigs storage built in. For video output, it supports HDR10 and 10 Plus as well as Dolby Vision. And for DRM, it supports Widevine Level 1, HDCP, and Play Ready. For communications there is Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5 as well as the Gigabit Ethernet. In our power usage tests we got 2.2 watts whilst in standby mode, 2.9 watts idle on the home screen and 3.1 watts whilst running the Geekbench benchmark. The G2 is passively cooled so there's no fan and whilst running Geekbench we saw a highest temperature of around 35 degrees centigrade, very cold. As this is an Android device, we can perform some benchmarks to get a general overview of its performance. We start with Geekbench, which tests the single and multi-core performance of the processor. We got scores of 144 and 556. Compared with our Droix X4 Android box from a few years ago, we do see a small increase in single and slightly lower in multi-core performance. 3D Mark benchmarks the graphics performance of the CPU and GPU. This is not just for games, but also for video decoding for example. We got a score of 593 thanks to the more powerful GPU, which is a big increase over the 187 on the Droix X4. And Tutu performs different tests to check the overall performance of the device. From web browsing, video decoding, RAM and storage speed to name but a few. We got a score of 112,678, which is a nice increase over the Droix X4 model. When first booting up, you are presented with a guide that walks you through the initial setup. You compare the remote control, connect to Wi-Fi, choose what apps you would like to pre-install and so on. If you are unfamiliar with using Android TV boxes, this makes it very easy to get up and running. After the setup has completed, we do recommend checking for and installing any OTA updates so that you are on the latest version of the operating system and software. The latest version has improvements to the home screen experience, plenty of performance increases and quality of life features. You can do this by navigating to settings, device preferences, about and then system update. The updated home screen provides an overview with integration of popular apps on your G2 with recommendations from Netflix, YouTube, Google Play, Prime Video and more. You can customise which apps to show or not show in the home screen settings. From here you can simply navigate to a recommendation or continue watching a film for example. Or you can browse your installed apps from the favourite apps bar which you can customise as required. 
the shop tab presents recommendations from various app sources which you can purchase films and TV shows from Google TV. Discover is an expanded version of the home screen with more customised and categorised recommendations from your installed apps. There are settings at the bottom to choose what apps you want to use. You also have a search tab which you can either speak into the remote or type what you are looking for. Voice search is integrated and can also be used with many of the apps such as YouTube and Prime. You do get some apps pre-installed but you may want some of your own installed as well. Google Play Store is supported and from here you can download any of the supported apps. The OS is Android TV 11 so there are some minor restrictions but you can also very easily sideload your own downloaded apps. As this is an officially licensed Google Android TV operating system, it means you have full support with apps such as Netflix and Prime Video. This means you get the official app updates which allow you to watch in 4K and not restrict you to old hack software which limits to standard definition and can stop working at any time. This is one of the best features of the G2 as it means you don't need to mess around finding new apps that actually work. Whilst we do not have a Netflix account, we were able to check out Prime Video, which works great. It looks just like the Fire Stick version, and in my opinion, performs a bit faster when navigating the videos. The YouTube app also looks identical to the Fire Stick version, and has all of the same functionality. Videos play fine at 4K with no frame drops or lag. You can also use it like a Chromecast, and load media from your Android phone and display it on the G2 for example. And you can install your own apps, for example the latest version of Kodi for all of your favourite media. You can get it from the Play Store or sideload your own version if you wish to. We are running some H.264 and 265 test videos to check out the performance and it works great. The Rocktech G2 is decent for gaming. You have access to a great selection on the Play Store or you can sideload your own. You can plug in a game controller and enjoy a variety of games such as Horizon Chase, Magic Rampage and Dead Cells. As there is no touchscreen, you can use the third party screen mapping software to map the touch controls to your controller. Although not officially supported, you can sideload the Xbox Game Pass app and stream games from the cloud. Because it's not officially supported, some games such as Game Pass do not show on the app's list but you can open them from settings, apps and all apps. You do need a good internet connection for game streaming and if you do, it works amazingly well. We are playing the latest games such as Pal World with no graphics artifacts or lags. And it's also great for retro gaming. You can install RetroArch and other emulators from the Play Store or again sideload your own. You can play all of the classic 8 and 16 bit systems just fine. For PlayStation 1 and Dreamcast era, you will see some of the more demanding games not running at full speed. Medium and lower demanding games should work fine. The Rocktech G2 is very impressive for an Android TV box. Being an officially licensed Google Android TV is a big plus. It means you have the full support of apps such as Netflix and Prime with 4K video playback. It also means you are getting a secure operating system with updates as required. For adding your own apps is a mix of success. All apps can be sideloaded which is great, but you may find some apps will not show in the apps tab, and instead you have to perform some extra steps to run those. And support for external storage is very much mixed. We recommend copying files to the internal storage for best compatibility. This is a Google TV OS limitation rather than the device itself. The Rocktech G2 is a great alternative to say the Fire Stick which may soon be running their own OS, making it much harder to install or run your own apps. The traditional Android TV boxes have had not much purpose in recent years, but they have been advancing behind the scenes. Now to the point where you would be hard pressed to not know this was a new Fire Stick or Google TV model. The G2 is definitely worth considering if you want something different to the norm. You can learn more and buy yours today at droix.co.uk or droix.net. Use the discount code on screen now to get 5% off on the checkout.
The code will expire in one month from the video being posted and can't be used during sales. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe if you have not already and we will see you back in the next video.